The movie begins with the narration of the antagonist Rumpelstiltskin, reminiscing how he almost tricked the king and queen of far far away into signing their kingdom over to him to save their daughter, Princess Fiona. King Harold and Queen Lillian make their way to the crone's nest where they meet the little trickster dwarf Rumpelstiltskin. As it happens, Fiona has been cursed to live by day as a human, and an ogre by nightfall. Even though the fairy godmother advises that true love's kiss will break her free from the spell, the king and queen are desperate, and their patience has worn out. Rumpelstiltskin almost has the king sign a contract where he promises to give up his kingdom to Rumpelstiltskin in exchange for his help to break Fiona's curse. But they are interrupted at the last minute. A servant informs them that Princess Fiona has been rescued by Shrek the Ogre, and this results in the king ripping the contract. All of Rumpelstiltskin's plans go down the drain. He never intended to help the king and queen. He just wanted to acquire their land and make them disappear. Cut to the present, he is scavenging for survival and blames Shrek being the cause of his misery. Meanwhile, Shrek is living his life in the swamp with his wife Fiona and three ogre triplets. Though he loves his family, he misses the times when people feared him as an ogre and he had privacy and free time on his hands. He believes he has softened up and misses his old life. As he grows tired of his mundane routine as a family man and celebrity, he just cannot keep his emotions bottled up any longer and he snaps at his kid's birthday party in the far far away palace, even smashing the birthday cake. As he steps outside to clear his mind, Fiona follows him and they have a light argument. Fiona wants him to see that he is a lucky man to be surrounded by people who love him. But Shrek cannot see clearly and he wishes for things to go back to the way they were before he rescued Fiona from the tower. Disappointed, Fiona returns to the birthday party. Unbeknownst to them, Rumpelstiltskin had been eavesdropping the entire time as he was scavenging nearby with his pet goose Fiffy. He plans to seize this opportunity as a scheme to get rid of Shrek. While Shrek heads toward the forest, Rumpelstiltskin pretends to be stuck under his carriage and prompts Shrek to rescue him. He tricks Shrek into joining him for a drink in his carriage as he wants to pay him back for saving his life. He pries on Shrek's frustration who wishes to have just one day where he could feel like a real ogre again. Rumpelstiltskin informs him of his magic and offers him a day of being his own ogre in exchange for one day from his past. Shrek is reluctant initially to go a no-show on his family, but Rumpelstiltskin assures him that they won't even notice since it is a magical contract. Desperate to get away from his tiring routine, Shrek signs the contract and suddenly he is plunged into the forest. With no sign of Rumpelstiltskin, Shrek notices people are freaking out when they see him and he is overjoyed. He heads to the town resuming his old ways of scaring and pillaging the people while they chase him with pitchforks and torches. When he heads toward the swamp, he realizes he is not the only rogue ogre wanted by the town. The trees are plastered with Fiona's posters. Shrek rushes to his home and is shocked to find that it does not exist. He fumbles through the contract to make sense of this situation, but is ambushed by witches on their broomsticks. They succeed in capturing him, knocking him out with a pumpkin bomb. When Shrek wakes up, he finds himself caged in a wagon being towed by Donkey, much to his relief. When he asks Donkey about Fiona and his family, Donkey denies knowing him and claims this is the first time they have ever met. They reach far far away which has been taken over by Rumpelstiltskin. Shrek is saddened to see the desolate town and when the witches bring him to the castle, he notices enslaved ogres and partying witches. The witches take Shrek constrained with chains to the main hall and he is furious to see Rumpelstiltskin on the throne. As it happens, when Shrek signed the contract, the clever Rumpelstiltskin took away the day of his birth, which means nobody rescued Fiona from the dragon's keep, which led the king and queen into signing over their kingdom to Rumpelstiltskin, who promised he would make their problems go away, but instead he makes them disappear and takes over the kingdom. He goes on to tell Shrek that he got exactly what he wanted, and by the end of this day, Shrek will cease to exist. Infuriated, Shrek manages to break free from the chains and escapes on a flying broomstick. Rumpelstiltskin orders the witches to seize him, but Shrek outsmarts them and manages to escape from the palace, taking a very confused donkey away with him. When they reach the forest, Donkey runs away from Shrek despite his efforts at making him remember that he is his best friend. Disappointed, Shrek sits down and discovers his baby's squeaky toy in his pocket from the birthday. He misses his family so much and is heartbroken. Suddenly, Donkey approaches him, wanting to help him because this is the first time he has seen an ogre cry. When he inquires about the reason Shrek wants his help, Shrek pulls out the contract that alarms Donkey because he knows how tricky Rumpelstiltskin can be. However, he helps Shrek find the exit clause in the contract and they realize that the contract will only be nulled by true love's kiss. For that, Shrek needs Fiona, but he has no idea where to find her. Shrek and Donkey set out to find Fiona. Shrek rushes to the tower at Dragon's Keep, but it seems like Fiona left the place after years and years of waiting for her savior. He picks up her crown and hanky that she had left behind, and asks Donkey to trace the scent. 
However, Donkey ends up finding some waffles in the middle of the forest and despite Shrek's warning of it being a trap, he tries to eat them, resulting in being yanked into an underground tunnel. Shrek follows him and he ends up entering a secret underground city of ogres. It appears all the ogres fight for freedom against Rumpelstiltskin and the witches. He finds out that the resistance is led by Fiona, and when he sees her, he rushes to her side but she kicks him away because she is big on personal space. Shrek tries to explain what happened at the birthday party and everything that ensued, but Fiona and the ogres laugh it off. Suddenly, they are all alerted of the witches' patrol and they hide away so they remain unnoticed. Fiona promises her people that things will change and their days of hiding will be over soon. Meanwhile, Rumpelstiltskin's rage knows no bounds as his witches are still unable to find Shrek. He arranges to hire a bounty hunter to get the job done, because he cannot risk losing his empire which could be a possibility if Shrek kisses Fiona before sunrise. When the bounty hunter, the Pied Piper arrives, the witches laugh at him, but he uses his flute to get them dancing uncontrollably, exerting his power. Shrek and Donkey eavesdrop on the ogre meeting in the war room where Fiona informs them of the news from far far away that Rumpelstiltskin will be joining the ogre hunt that night, and this is their chance to capture him. Next, Shrek enters Fiona's room but is shocked to see a rather obese puss without his boots. Fiona enters and Shrek tries to woo her with a gift basket, but she is focused on the revolution and sends Shrek away. The ogres get ready for the ambush, and it seems like Donkey has made quite an impression on the ogres as they eat dinner before the Great Revolution. Shrek is worried about winning Fiona over so when he learns that all she cares about is her cause, he goes to her chamber where she is practicing her fighting skills. Shrek tries to impress her, but ends up making a complete fool out of himself. Next, he lets her practice with him and they actually have a good time. When he finishes off her sentence when she is tying the knot, Fiona is caught by surprise, but she does not let emotions get the better of her, and leaves. Next, Puss who witnessed the interaction between Shrek and Fiona is convinced that Shrek is indeed her true love, and he needs to convince Fiona. The ogres leave for the ambush and Fiona asks them to wait for her signal to attack Rumpelstiltskin and the patrol squad as they take their positions. Shrek joins Fiona in her hiding spot and tells her things about herself that only a loved one would know. While Fiona is distracted, the ogres grow impatient and ambush the carriage. But it turns out they have been deceived. Rumpelstiltskin's carriage is empty and Pied Piper springs from behind, making the ogres dance to his flute uncontrollably. Shrek and Fiona also get caught in the flute spell but Donkey along with Puss manages to save them before Piper rounds up all the ogres to imprison them at Rumpelstiltskin's castle. When Rumpelstiltskin learns that Shrek and Fiona have escaped, he addresses his kingdom and promises the deal of a lifetime to whoever will bring him Shrek. The town people get their pitchforks ready and some even get creative with conjuring makeshift Shreks just to get the deal of the lifetime. Fiona cannot believe she let her emotions get in the way of her freedom fight. She gets angry at Shrek who tells her that everything would go back to normal if she let him kiss her. Fiona proceeds to kiss him but nothing changes, much to Shrek's disbelief. Fiona tells him that she gave up on true love long ago because it is all a fairy tale. No true love came to rescue her from the tower until she did it herself. With that, she leaves to save the ogres while Shrek is left heartbroken. He cannot believe he gave up his perfect life himself and now he is almost out of time. Suddenly, he notices Gingerbread Man trying to attack him. When Shrek learns through him that there is a bounty on him, he comes up with the idea to turn himself in. Shrek barges into the castle and asks for the deal of the lifetime, as he is the one turning himself in. Rumpelstiltskin laughs in derision that his curse will only be broken by true love's kiss, but that is not what Shrek came in for. He uses the deal of the lifetime to free the ogres and keep Fiona safe in return for his captivity. When he gets to the dungeon, the evil Rumpelstiltskin reveals that he has already captured Fiona as she is not a real ogre. Meanwhile, Donkey, Puss, and the ogres break into the castle to save Shrek and Fiona. The ogres are able to take down the witches, and Shrek and Fiona take down the dragon through teamwork. Rumpelstiltskin tries to escape on his giant goose but he is captured, and Fiona declares victory. Just then, the sun begins to rise, and Shrek's time is over. He begins to disappear, but not before telling Fiona that she is the reason he had a great life and family. Fiona kisses him because she has fallen in love with him, but Shrek fades away. Fiona is saddened, but Puss points out that she did not turn to her human form despite the sun coming up which meant true love's kiss had worked. Suddenly, this alternative reality ceases to exist and Shrek finds himself back at the birthday celebration, doing his famous roar as requested by his fans. He scoops Fiona in his arms and wishes his kids a happy birthday, beaming in the warmth of family and friends around him. This is where the movie ends.